What is up guys, welcome to Sony Gaming. If you want to help support the channel, go ahead and hit those like and subscribe buttons and leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Today we're going to be checking out one of the more impressive bosses in Lords of the Fallen, Judge Cleric, the Radiant Sentinel. This is a tough and visually impressive boss who specialises in area denial, making use of fields of thorns and radiant arrow barrages to keep you moving and stop you from keeping up the pressure. So let's check out the first phase of the Judge Cleric boss. Here you'll be fighting what appears to be an illusion of what the Judge Cleric once looked like. She wields a sword and standard that she can perform swift attacks with, or charge for surprise heavy attacks that deal a ton of damage and build up the smite status effect. Those swift combos are the first thing that we are going to cover. In terms of pace and length, you can expect the Judge Cleric's combos to actually be similar to a lot of bosses in Lords of the Fallen, most similar in fact to Pieta's 4 slash combo. You will learn to time your dodges for this one quite easily. Next is the standard. Now this can come in its own 1 to 4 hit combos of slashes and thrusts that deal moderate damage, but if you see the Judge Cleric empower the weapon with Radiance, be wary of the downward slash that follows as this can deal tremendous damage. If you pressure the Judge Cleric too much in melee range, she may perform a backstep with a cross slash of both weapons. This is fairly damaging and designed to put distance between you and the boss in order to perform a stronger attack. Similarly, she may create an oval area around her of thorns, which can be used either to entrap you within to prevent you from escaping her attacks, or to keep you at a distance and obscure your vision, leaving you vulnerable to a thrust attack. Be very careful of the charged glowing thrust of either the standard or the sword. This deals a lot of damage and while highly telegraphed, are performed quite quickly. At around half health, the Judge Cleric will gain some new attacks. The boss will create circles of light on the ground which indicate that an arrow barrage will soon land there, dealing very high damage and leaving a field of thorns behind as well, so avoid these as a priority. The boss can perform an attack which fires a constant beam of light. This can be fired at you or sweep the area from one side to the other. This is quite easy to dodge though. A few bosses so far performed attacks similarly to this next one. The Judge Cleric can create an explosion which causes a circle of light to expand quickly from her location to the edges of the arena. Again, this is quite easy to dodge if you know what it is to expect. Since this boss fights primarily in melee range but also forces you out of melee range, you can effectively fight her by just using ranged attacks if you have them. Bows, crossbows and spells all work wonders here and allow you to keep your distance. She will dodge some but if you keep attacking, you can easily whittle her down. If you wish to fight in melee range, you may well end up performing the age-old tactic of dodging the first hit or two up front, circling behind the Judge Cleric and hitting her in the back. I recommend Poison for this fight since you can close in, apply a status effect quickly and then create some distance, which is the way the flow of this fight often goes. One great thing about this boss is that you can actually soul flay her for some extra easy free damage, so make use of this. Once you deplete the Judge Cleric's health bar, you will enter phase 2. This new version of the boss has some new tricks up her sleeve, abandoning the arrows and thorns and instead relying on fire and surprise attacks. The Judge Cleric's weapons are the same and so is her melee moveset for the most part, performing swift thrusts and slashes with some charged heavy hits mixed in. She can also teleport around the room, either to create distance under too much pressure or to hit you by surprise, so be careful and react quickly here. If the Judge Cleric creates a totem on the ground, that should be your focus. If you leave it alone, then it will constantly create fire explosions at your location, which can severely hinder you here. It doesn't have much health, and a couple of hits should do the trick. Be careful of her melee combos that finish with a sword slam onto the ground. A small area will appear that will explode after a short delay for hefty damage. One new thing that the Judge Cleric can now do is create bouncing fireballs. This can be in a circle around her after a jumping slam attack or in a fan in front of her. Try to dodge forwards for this instead of sideways or backwards in order to avoid the multiple hits. The arena wide expanding circle is back but with a twist. Now when the circle reaches the edge of the arena it will retract into the boss as well, potentially hitting you once again so think fast and dodge the second hit as well. Now that should be all that you need to know to beat the Judge Cleric once and for all and now it is time to move on to the final areas of the game. If you want to check out this fight in action, then just keep watching. I've included a clip of the full fight so that you can see how it's done.
aberrant child. You will know peace. your soul with holy fire for this profanation. Thanks very much guys, if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons and leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Take care and as always, have fun!